Hi everyone. So today we're going to be talking about Kruskal's algorithm, which is another form of greedy algorithm and is a continuation of the minimum spanning tree algorithms like Prim's algorithm that we've studied before. Now Kruskal's algorithm uses a disjoint set data structure and um, well, it's different from the kind of data structure that we usually use like arrays, linked lists and all that. Anyway, um, Kruskal's data structure first, uh, sorry, Kruskal's algorithm first states that first you have to make a normal set with minimum edges and then you make another set elsewhere in the graph and then if those sets are not equal to each other, I mean as in if those sets are not joined with each other, then you union those sets. That means you union, like if find set u, if one set u is not equal to the other set v, then you union this set u and v together. Okay, so uh, let's go to the simulation. Okay, so the walkthrough, from the walkthrough we can see that it's the previous graph that we've used. Now we'll start from any edges, uh, from any vertex and uh, like walk our way into the forest of, uh, into the forest of the edges. So first edge DE, which is the weight is the weight is the distance is one. So we take we all obviously check it and take the edge. And then there is another edge DG. The weight is two, so we check this two. Now there is another edge E and G. We won't check it because if we check this, then it will be a cycle. It will form a cycle. DEG will form a cycle, so we don't take it. The next edge, so we cross it. Uh, sorry, yeah, so we cross it and then the next edge is CD. We check it also because it's a minimum weight uh, It's a minimum distance Okay, and then G and H G and H we also check this one because it's the uh, the set is minimum I mean the weight is minimum. So we take this also and then the next one is C and F We check this one also. So C and F the distance is minimum from C to F, then rather from D to F or any other ones. And then the next one is B and C. So B and C, we won't check it because it will, uh, we will check B and C because it will, it is the shortest distance from C to B. And then the last vertex is uh, A and so we just take A and H. So other edges, we just don't check it because B and E will form a cycle. Uh, because it's already connected, you need to include it. Because since they're in the same set, we don't include it in this set. When it's a different set, only then we union the set. So B and F, we don't connect it either, the same set. B and H also not. And A and H, we do connect it because it's not in the same set. So, well, this kind of looks similar to the Prim's algorithm. So I'm, I'm sure you might be a little bit confused and not so clear with the whole set idea. So we'll go through another simulation. Okay. Okay. So we'll go through another simulation for better explanation. Okay. So here we just select a random set, uh, random edge uh, with the weight 23 because from all these edges, the lowest edge is 23. It's it's better for Kruskal's algorithm that you select the lowest the the most, uh, the minimum weighted edge first, instead of just randomly selecting any edge, because if you select a high weighted edge, then it will not form a minimum spanning tree. A minimum spanning tree states that if you connect, if you form a span, if you do form a spanning tree, you're not supposed to take the highest weighted edge. So always take the the lowest minimum, the lowest weighted edge first, and then from there you just work your way into the forest of the tree. So notice that we just took randomly here one set. This is the second. This is the second minimum, uh, second minimum weighted edge. So we take this one. And unlike Prim, in Prim's algorithm, what we do is we just walk away from the same set, from this set, and we just grow the whole tree. But here we just take from randomly into the from the forest of the tree. We just randomly take an edge, and then we just start working our way through and forming a minimum tree. Now from this one, uh, like like I said, in Prim, we just take, we just go from here or we just go from here. But here we can go from here to here or from from this from this edge and to the other edges or from this edge towards the other edges. So now let's select the third minimum tree, uh, sorry, the third minimum edge, which is 31, obviously. And then after that, 
these are this is one set and this is another set and then unless these these two sets can be joined somehow if these two sets are unequal of course obviously they're unequal because this is one different set and this is one different set then we can union them somehow later on so now we walk away from this set and that set uh, we just find them we just connect to the minimum weighted edges so the next will be this one because since the these two are not connected these two are these two were different edges so we just we just join, we just union these two different edges to uh, towards uh, like a minimum weighted edge, like with a minimum weighted edge. So then we randomly go from grow from this set, or we could just come continue from here. But these are all really huge numbers, so we just take the lowest from here, and then this can this is also a small number. Oh wait, this is a small number first, so fifty four, and then this edge is not this vertex is not connected yet, so we take the, we take this one also. Now look, notice that if we take this vertex, they said that if we take the blue vertex, then it would form a cycle. So we, w we don't need to take this. Okay, so this last one is connected to with uh, 66. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice 66. 68 is larger than 66, so we obviously take this one. Now, how would you know the whole graph is complete when all the vertices are connected with an edge any all the vertices are if all the vertices are connected then you know that the whole tree is complete so this was kruskal's algorithm and this is the total weight after sorry this is the total weight after connecting all these red 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 uh, marked edges so yeah i hope you understood the kruskal's algorithm and um please subscribe and uh, give a thumbs up to this video if you liked the explanation and uh, well good luck